she I was cool And when I finally got sober, felt ten years older But forget it was something to do Forget it was something to do Yeah It's just me, myself and I So get right until I die Cause I got me for life I hate you, I love you guys? 2016 has been amazing YouTube if you guys are watching this video, this is not really for you, but family, friends, this video is for you. Um, 2016 has really been the biggest changing point in my life. I've spent almost 19 years in Rylander, Wisconsin, and moving to a bigger city that I have no clue how to live in and relearning everything and just all the support, the constant, you know, you can do it, the constant, just everything and, you know, when I'm down, people just push me right back up and tell me that I can keep doing these things and that my dream is possible and I thank all of you really um I really do uh family friends uh there's some people that supported me in summer and you know before the move Kim Parrish you guys you know you helped me through it Derek Tristan Kyle Travell you guys have been by my side for the last four years and I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate it mom dad you guys supported my editing back like three years ago when it was just garbage Call of Duty editing and to think that that little editing, that little experience turned into going on to five shoots, going to a professional uh, program in college, and actually doing the stuff that I wanted to do for the last couple of years is just insane. I thank literally everyone. I thank my uncle and Sai for the majority of the things because without them, moving out here, living out here, surviving out here would not be possible. Let's take it back to June. So in June, I graduated Rylander High School. I had all my credits, and I finally completed one of the many life goals that our society sets up for us. <laughs> so graduation came along, which was my proudest moment I've ever had, because if you knew me in high school, uh, I was not a fucking academic achiever at any point. You know, C's, B's, maybe, you know, A's in the classes I really enjoyed. Um, but I, I didn't really enjoy it so when it came to actually graduation it was a realization that this was uh, a moment turning point where I did something <laughs> so after June after that week I set off to Minneapolis for a week to come out here figure out things and, and kind of settle for a week just to figure out what it's gonna be like and see everything that you know goes on I've been out here for three weeks before that but after that, I went back home, had a crazy summer with a couple friends, Kim and Parrish, you guys literally made my summer awesome. There's some ups, downs, biting, but in the end, that's friendship, isn't it? You guys are gonna go through rough times, you're gonna face things you didn't think you're gonna have to. We went on road trips, we you know, went over to parishes, we longboarded, we laughed, we cried, we did everything. and. Kim especially, you were the helping deciding point in probably one of the most stressful times of my life. If you guys did not know, I ended up quitting the Rusty Nail in early July, or no, late June. And uh, I came to her after a road trip, and I, I stopped the car on the side of the road, and I, I just kind of asked her, and I uh, asked her what I should do with my life. Should I move now in a week or so, or should I wait? two months and then go and get a job in between there somehow some way do something and you know it was a lot more intense than this but she ended up telling me good advice friendly advice selfless advice and uh, she told me to go she said you know pack my things do some last goodbyes hang with people for the last time for a while till I come back and just go do it so I did I, uh, I told my mom, I told everyone my plans, I told my uncle, and I said, this is, this is what's going to go on. I'm going to move July 13th. That's the day I'm setting out, and I'm starting my new life in Minneapolis. I did. Um, thanks to some friends, Lizzie and uh, Kim and mom and everyone. They, uh, they, they helped me move. They helped me pack, and I packed you know, only really necessity things. I... PlayStation TV computer you know everything that I would need and I came out here and I started settling now unfortunately the fact is that there wasn't there's was an aqua tenual 
a week after, there was an opportunity to see one of my friends. And I pushed her away and I stopped talking to her. And then a month later, we started talking again. And then eventually I told her, you know, we uh, should just go do our own lives. And she said, I'm not going to come back and in and out of her life. And it, it was Kim. And, you know, I still respect her, her words to this day. And I don't. I want her to go do her college life, go do her thing. I'm going to go do my film life. Because my, my film life, it's not school. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that. It's not school. Audio is not school. It's, it's, a per, it's a lifestyle, guys. Going to sleep at 3 a.m., waking up at 6 a.m., it's crazy. However, I've been on five film shoots today. Through my first quarter of college, I passed all my classes. And I'm enrolled in winter semester, which is awesome. I, I honestly had so many doubts about going to college. I thought I was going to fail. I thought I was going to end up dropping out and moving back home. And, you know, before college started, I, I had some thoughts. I, I talked to Austin. And I was like, I don't know, dude. I really don't know. Is this meant for me? Is this a, a lifestyle I really want? And I just had a lot of things going through my head. And he's like, you know, he, he told me he, he believes in God and that it will all figure itself out and he'll look out for you and whatnot. And in certain aspects, I'm not very religious, but I do believe someone is looking out for me. About a week, about a month later, after I moved out here, I'm not having a job, I applied at places. I got a, got a job at Hollister. They gave me tons of hours. Great. And then as, you know, school started, and it started slacking. And then just recently, I put in one application, one application, and I got a job at Toyota. And it's really crazy. I got I got the job too, and I start right after I come back from Christmas. <laughs> For about three months, I was probably the saddest person um, until school. No, not three, two months, until school started. And then I started talking to people. And right before school, I went on to a, a shoot called Control Delete. Andy Hunt, one of the teachers and industry professionals at IPR, he uh, I went to orientation. He was there in placement for Trey. I talked to him and he invited me onto the film shoot. He said, just email me at this. So I did, I took the opportunity. One of my quotes will be, never, never let an opportunity go. I always take one, even if it's the worst thing that you could be doing, take it. Besides some of the schooling stuff that I've done out here and besides some of the moving stuff, I've done some crazy shit, guys. Besides the film shoot, I went to a Whit Lowry Watsky concert by myself on First Avenue, one of the best venues in Minneapolis. I went to several other concerts, including Warp Tour. Thank you, Austin and Cody, for taking me. I went to an Astronautilus concert, which was fantastic, for free with Austin and Alex for the first time. And Alex, dude, we need to chill sometime. But I've done crazy shit, guys. I'm working on film stuff all the time. I have videos coming out soon. Watch Stellar Productions Facebook page, watch Stellar Productions YouTube, watch my Facebook page, watch Instagram, watch anything that I have. Stuff will be coming soon. Until you guys see me soon, or until I make another video for you guys, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching the video. I'm Justin Campbell for Stellar Productions. Q intro. Yeah. Just me, myself, and I.